good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. There were some songs that came through this morning as I was meditating and praying about how this video should go. And the first song, and I posted a link to this in the community page so you would know which one to listen to because there's a few songs by this same title. But this one is actually written by somebody called, and I think, Andrew Mucus. And he's a very um, accomplished songwriter. He writes a lot of songs that people sing that they usually get the credit for. But he's actually a very... Um, I think I think that's what it is. I see his name a lot as a writer. He's a songwriter, but he doesn't sing, I don't think. And anyway, it's called The One You Love. So make sure you look up the one that's written by Andrew Mucus. And then I got Let It Die by Green Day. Let It Die by Green Day. And then I got... Epiphany by Stained, <clears throat> Chasing After You by Marin Morris and Ryan Hurd, and then Cover Me Up by Morgan Wallen, and then out of the blue, the last song was Mama Said Knock You Out by Five Finger Death Punch. I think somebody else may have sang that also, but that's the version that came through. I have got to clean this table up. It's got candle wax everywhere. Anyway, I have this is what I'm down to. I have no more candles besides this one. I have to get some more. So, Spirit, can you lead God and direct me to get a reading for someone today? The collective in general. Can I have something that will resonate with a lot of people in the collective and not just one or two, please? May I please have a message? Start out with a prayer I'm hearing. All right, what prayer would you give the collective? <clears throat> oh God of heaven and earth, it is good to sing your praises and to bless your holy name always. You do great things for us. The whole earth is full of your glory. To you be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus for endless ages. Amen. So we're being encouraged to realize how majestic and how in control the universe and our creator are and some of you may be christian in your faith or you could be muslim in your faith okay they they call god something else um i, I can't remember allah or something um for some reason, that slipped my mind. I know what they call God, but I can't remember. Otto, you okay, buddy? Hi. Wow. All right. Negative energy is about to go. Still, can you please protect me? Put it. A hedge of protection around me and this collective as I channel these energies and help me to pick up what needs to be addressed by the collective. All right, we're going to start out with the sacred guest. No spirit said, start out with Tarot and use the black deck. I've already shuffled the cards, but I always like to shuffle them in front of you so you know that I've shuffled them. The high priestess and the lovers. So we have a Gemini and Pisces, or we have somebody that's got to make a choice or has a decision, and they're using their intuition. We have Capricorn, the devil, and Pisces, the high priestess. So it's something that they are very determined and feeling very strongly about. <sighs> the hermit and the high priestess. So we have Virgo here with Pisces. All right, Spirit, how are you working in this collective today? We keep getting the same card. The hanged man is here. Pisces. It could be because of... the. It's, it could be because it's Pisces season until March 20th. 
And then we have the fool in reverse. So it's like, I'm stuck and I want to take a risk, but I can't. I want to try something new, but I'm not able to right now. I'm stuck. All right. Let's find out what verse your spirit's working on while you're stuck. Because the hanged man is somebody who is temporarily suspended and hung up in a tree by their ankle. So it's like you've hit a snag, you've hit a wall, and you're having to be creative and come up with ideas about a situation from different points of, of view. It's, it's allowing you to also see the points of view of others so you can learn empathy as well. You have abundance showing up in love in the pre-shuffle. Love and abundance. And that's what all of the readings were about last week. So if you haven't watched your sign's reading, go back and watch it. Protection and love. So there's a sense of protection that comes with this love. Maybe it makes you feel safe. There, there's a voyage in love. So somebody might be going to see somebody in their love. Um, by taking the voyage. All right. Spirit, talk to the collective about what you're doing while they're hanged man. While they're in this hanged man mode, what are you doing in our lives, Spirit? Oops, that didn't take long. Well, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> We're getting enlightenment. Enlightenment. We're also getting power. And we're learning patience. I've never drawn the power card. So I want to read it because I don't know what it means. Okay. And it's leading you to delight. Delight. See? Delight. It's leading you to delight. Somehow. Buttercups. Different kinds of wildflowers. Could be significant. Um. You may have a lot of like um, dogwood trees or Bradford pears and those little, sometimes when the Bradford pear leaves come off, they look like it's snowing and it may be happening where you live. So <clears throat> while you're stuck here, you're, you're being enlightened about something or in general, just being given enlightenment. Let's see what these things mean. Because this is how spirits work in your life while you're stuck. And if not, this is how spirit wants to work in your life while you're in this place where you're stuck. For some reason, I'm having, there we go. A vast galaxy. Our beautiful home galaxy is so large that if you traveled at the speed of light, it would take you 100,000 years to go from one end to the other. It is small compared to some galaxies. For example, the Hercules, a galaxy would take 1.5 million years to cross at the speed of light. The realm of galaxies is so vast and so wide that it is beyond human comprehension, which is why the galaxy often symbolizes great enlightenment as well as faith in the forces much greater than us. And that's what the prayer was about, about uh, and the vastness of the spirit. The sacred landscape wants you to know enlightenment occurs when one steps out of the confines of an ordinary definition of self and expands into a greater awareness of self within the universe. You are now reaching into the invisible realm of spirit and connecting with what you cannot see. Forces beneath the surface are supporting you on your journey. Have faith in yourself. You are so much more than you believe yourself to be. Have patience and there is a plan unfolding. The sky's the limit. This card represents enlightenment and signals that you are entering into a time of expansive transformation in a luminous and remarkable way. Trust that the changes ahead are for the greater good for most certainly they are. So you're being given enlightenment while you're in this stuck place. And then we have power, which I've never had, as long as I've used these cards, it's never come up. Mountain thunder. Like the fist of God thrusting up toward the heavens, the stark, ragged mountain holds 
firm as thunderbolts crash down on all sides. The sound is deafening as it echoes from mountain peak to mountain peak. Mountains represent strength, power, and permanence, <clears throat> as well as being a potent symbol for attaining spiritual heights as they extend into the sky toward the heavens. Thunder and lightning traditionally represent surging power, enlightenment, and revelations of divine matters. Thunder ignites our deeper self and activates our primal and deep emotions. Together, the mountain and thunder symbolizes immense power, vitality, and strength. So you're being really given the strength. This is your time, the, the landscape, the sacred landscape wants you to know. This is your time. This is the time to claim your power and step into your potential. This doesn't necessarily mean that you will be without fear. You might feel uncertain, but do it anyway. Be courageous. Let the world hear your voice. Take a stand. Stand up for yourself and for others. Share your passion. Teach from the heart. Write, and your words will have great meaning. Hold your body as if you are incredibly valiant noble and brave after all you are so you're being shown enlightenment and you're being given strength and you're also being taught patience and this is leading you to some a light a delightful life okay i'm not going to read patience to you because i think we have an understanding of what that means so now we know why you're stuck this is why you're stuck. What a beautiful reason to be stuck. Now, I do want to show you something, okay? I pulled these angel cards this morning because I was told to use these angel cards instead of the other ones. And as I shuffled them, the, I didn't put it there. I don't have any reason to lie to you at all. The angel of success and angels of the universe. As I shuffled, I noticed that there is another card in the wrong deck. And let me show you what it is. I've already seen it because I shuffled them before the reading. It's a job. It's your hands. There's something you're supposed to be doing with your hands. Okay? And... I'm going to read to you what it is, number 15, and we'll read you what it means, your hands. Your hands are activated to allow you to touch, heal, and create. You have received this card as the universe wants you to understand the gifts you have been given. The psychic symbol of hands represents the hidden ability you possess. The hands card can also represent that you are gifted he, that you're a gifted healer and it is time for you to use your natural born gifts to heal. Have you have you been drawn to taking up a course in natural therapy such as Reiki, massage or kinesiology? Are you looking to work with your hands in a hobby or work situation? You may be thinking about doing a trade, gardening course, craft, or jewelry making course. Or you may be interested in taking a drawing, painting, or photography course to express your creative side. The psychic symbol of hands can be a sign that you should explore the gift of psychometry. Psychometry is the ability to hold an item and see the past, present, and future from the energy contained within the item. Psychometry is also a doorway to open you up to working with, med with mediumship. If you have received a psychic reading card, it can be confirmation you are on the right path and the universe is encouraging you to start using your hands in whatever area of your life you're drawn to. It is also a sign of confirmation that you have what it takes to achieve your goals. The psychic reading card can be a sign from your loved ones in spirit realm who may have been gifted with their hands. When I am doing a reading and I see the psychic symbol of hands, it is sometimes connected to the person 
I am reading for, such as a father, grandfather, parent, partner, who used their hands in their vocation or trade when they were alive. With this symbol, I sometimes receive the image of hands connected with tools and a garage or a shed. This psychic symbol tells me a male loved one in spirit wants to connect through holding or using their tools. So, <clears throat> we're going to pull more of these cards right here. This, this psychic um, reading card. Let's see what, what comes out for you. The juggling card in your hands. So it's like to juggle a lot of things at once and you're gifted that way. Time is a factor when it comes to you in these hands. So somehow time, it might take some time. That's why you're having to be patient. It also is about communication. And in one of the songs, it talks about bad communication. It's about not saying what needs to be said. All right, what else would you give us besides hands? Spirit says, your hands are going to bring you abundance. Abundance. And nature. You might be working outside somehow in nature. All right, I'll put those away. But that was not an accident, and I did not put that card in there. It was in there, okay? It was in the angel deck. Not by accident, because nothing happens by accident. But it was there to show you that you're going to use your hands in some way. And you are going to be powerful. You just have to be patient, okay? Timing is a factor. Remember time? All right, angels, how are you working in this individual or these, this collective? Angels, how are you working in our collective? You're having to make a decision, and you're helping us with our beliefs. You're helping us to understand what we believe. What do you believe? You might be having to decide what you believe. You might not even know what you believe. But somehow you have to make a decision and your beliefs are here. So you're like, I'm trying to decide, do I believe in this or do I not believe in this? And happiness. Remember delight? Understanding what you believe is going to lead you to happiness or delight is what that's saying. All right, let's see what's going on here. Let's just see how this may have happened because... I'm not really sure I'm catching everything here. What what happened here, Spirit, to put us in this hanged position? Why are we in hangman mode? May I say please? Alright, please show me how this happened. That one was determined to come out. <clears throat> Stop trying to control everything. Let it go and don't be so extra. So you're in hangman mode because spirit is like, I want you to stop trying to control everything. Let me be in control. So there's somebody that's controlling and it's like, F your feelings. You have logic for a reason. Use it. One of you is doing too much and it's time to talk money. All right, well, what's being hidden? That's a lot of cards, spirit. That somebody is irritated. Secretly, they're irritated because your boundaries are trash and they're still waiting. So you're irritated because you're having to have somebody's waiting and somebody has horrible boundaries. All right, what's being shown? That's how you got in hangman mode, okay? Because your friends miss your face. Your friends miss your face. You're, they're still waiting to see you. They haven't seen you for some reason. You have been away from your friends. What's going to happen next? You might be isolating. You're going to open your mouth, talk, empathize, use big words. You think you have them all figured out, but you don't. And it's not that serious. Laugh. Don't let it make you bitter. All right. So, you're going to open your mouth and speak. 
your mind. And you're being enlightened and given power while you're having to be patient. But it's going to lead you to something that's going to bring delight to your life. Let's see what's under that. Security in a, in a, in a community. This delight is leading to security in a community for you. Wow. That's beautiful. Alright, so this person thinks they have you all figured out, but they don't. And you're going to realize by being in this position of hanging and being suspended and stuck that you need to open your mouth, talk, use big words. And it's not that serious. Don't let it make you bitter. Something that's happened here when it comes to you having to wait to see your friends is you need to speak up and say, I, I've got to go see my friends. Okay, or something like that. My friends have waited long enough to see my face. Why don't I get out and, and visit with them? All right, that's how this happened, is you were trying to control. Somebody was trying to control you going to see somebody that you're friends with. That's what it looks like to me. It's like, I'm not giving you a ride there, or something like that. All right, let's find out more about how this happened. No, it's here. No. Pull to row. Alright, let's look at the hanged man. Why is the hanged man here? Because of the five of wands and the emperor. I cut the deck at the five of wands and the emperor. Somebody has chosen to pick a fight with the main man. Like, you may have had a fight with your boss. Or your father, your grandfather the ace of cups somebody's fighting for a new love or a loving of themselves you're fighting to love yourself or someone new there's something stuck here or something what's going on here all right all right why is the hangman here please because of the Four of Wands and the King of Wands in reverse. So, we have... Let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. How could I not see? Oh, it was the Fool. Aries, I think, here. This can be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. That... Let me tell you what it says. It says this person makes you happy, they that you feel comfortable and at home, and you're content, and you're successful. You have harmony and stability. So there's there's a King of Wands. This could definitely be an Aries, but it can also be a Leo or Sagittarius. But you don't feel happy. It's like you're in a relationship with this person, like you're stuck with them. You're not happy with them. You want some money new. So you're with somebody else and you want some money new. The Ace of Cups is where I cut the deck. And look, you, ha you have a lot of fond memories of this person too. You could have known them since you were a child. Alright, why is the Fool here? Because of the Eight of Swords. Again, a card of being imprisoned, stuck. And you're in your mind... Like, it's like you've created this prison out of fear. Or you might be afraid of going back to prison. But somehow, let me tell you what it means in a love situation. It means that you're feeling like you have no choice, like you're trapped. And you have fear of change when it comes to your hands. They feel tied. When Your hands feel like they're tied when it comes to money and you're trapped in a situation with somebody that you're supposed to love and it's this king of wands you no longer want to be with this person so what and then we have the four of pentacles the list of lack of stability somebody also could be very controlling stable secure with status and love and play safe and be secure in your job but that came out in reverse so you feel very insecure about your job and 
unstable in your love life as well. What does this person desire? Ooh. Healing. This is the card of healing. The Five of Cups is regret, remorse, and resentment. Feeling unfulfilled. Don't throw good money away. Don't throw your good money away on bad choices. And you regret and you have remorse about someone and you could also have a resentment and you don't want to feel that way anymore you want to heal from that it came out in reverse and that four of pentacles is determined to be on the bottom of the deck so it's like this person wants to be released they want to be allowed to get out of this stuck place they're in and they have to do some healing from a resentment. All right, now I can take these. All right, how did this happen, Spirit? Somebody was in their comfort zone, their south node, and they were clinging to it. That's how it happened. They were usually, somebody had, it came out in reverse, so it's like, it's time, this happened because it was time for you to come out of your comfort zone, out of your south node. It was time to grow up, basically. And you were like, no, I don't want to grow up. I don't want to grow up. I want to stay in my comfort zone. I don't want to feel like I'm somewhere I don't belong. This is the place that I've always felt comfortable. All right, what's, what's being in? <clears throat> is that you're having some isolating... Thoughts. You're isolating and you're not letting your friends see you. You're, you're, you're healing when it comes to your family, home, and commitments. You're thinking and isolating, but you're healing when it comes to your family, home, and commitment. All right, what's being shown? That's what was being hidden. Look, that you're going to go into your north node. So check your north node because there's an alignment happening in your life. You may be going through your like Saturn return also, but you're going to grow up and, and come into your life purpose. And you, it happened because you wouldn't allow it to happen. You were clinging to your comfort zone. You're getting healing in your family, home, and commitment. And what's going to happen next? <clears throat> you're going to have, you're going to be able, oh. You're going to have a celebration of gifts and abundance. And that's what it looks like you're doing here is celebrating a marriage or a relationship. But the person no longer wants to be in it. You're going to have a celebration of gifts and abundance. But this is decepting or tempting. And it has to do with some control tactics. Remember, stop trying to control everything. Why is deception here? Because of those regrets. Remember I said you had these regrets down here. It's about you forming a solid foundation. And not having any regrets. You're deceiving yourself about these regrets. You're pretending like you don't regret something. But you are very much regretting it. Clarify regret. You're guarding yourself. You're guarding yourself. Present, abundant, and gratitude. It's like you're vulnerable. What is going on here, Spirit? It's like somebody has a lot of abundance and a lot of gifts to celebrate. But they're deceiving themselves when it comes to control and not having control. It's like you think you can control forming a solid foundation. But you have no regrets. It's like you have no regrets, no gratitude. And you're, this is making you very vulnerable and guarded. You won't apologize either. You won't forgive. There's a lack of forgiveness. Yeah, right here. You have a lot to celebrate, a lot of abundance, but you're deceiving yourself 
about forming a foundation. You're not going to be able to form a foundation like you think you are. And this is what's causing you to be vulnerable. That's what you want. What's being hidden, Spirit? There's these beliefs. You remember your, um, your beliefs over here? The angels helping you with your beliefs? Oh my God, I can't believe this. Divine Feminine is here with last summer and somebody wearing a facade about their beliefs and not knowing their worth. So what's being hidden is a Divine Feminine who has been wearing a facade about their beliefs or you've been wearing a facade about your beliefs when it comes to this Divine Feminine. All right, show me what's being shown that you're coming out of a very dark time in your life. And what's gonna happen next? There's gonna be a divine detour. There's a divine detour. Why is, it, why is it disappointing? Because you're gonna awaken and remember that you need to take care of yourself. This was, this was your dream come true. You, you were really hoping that this, that whatever you were doing was going to work out for you. But it's not leading you to abundance. It's making you vulnerable. And the, the, you're about to have a transformation. Pluto is also showing up. Let's find out more about what's going on here. Well, how did this happen, Spirit? There was something that was unspoken. Somebody was running. They were confused and they wanted to be alone. What's being hidden? A friend? What's being shown? So you have a friend. It looks like it could be a divine feminine that's in your family. Is that somebody wants a second chance? It came out sideways. And they are in despair because somebody has a lot of depth. You're scared of how deep this is. You want a second chance, but it's like you're in despair because of something deep. What's going to happen next? Somebody's going to reach their limit because of a loss they've had. You've had some kind of loss and it's causing you to go through grief and pain and sorrow and you're like that's it i'm gonna yeah and you have you no longer want to be with somebody you're like i've had it this enough is enough i'm gonna get out of this because i can't even go out and see my friends there's been healing happening in your family this divine timing and you're worried show me how this happens Show me how this happened, please. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. You felt helpless when you were fantasizing about doing something different. What's being hidden? Good try answers only, please. What's being hidden is that somebody is trying to make them prove that they don't have any burdens. This is like tons of weight lifted off of your shoulders. You want somebody to prove that they can help you with these burdens. All right, what's being shown? That's what's being hidden. That you're going to focus on yourself, but you're at your breaking point. Remember reaching your limit? You're focusing on yourself, but you're at your breaking point. Why are you at the breaking point? Because you're fighting it, and it has to do with one last chance. All right, what's going to happen next? Damn. Damn. You're going to have support from your friend, but you have no way out of this. You're going to have friend support, but there's no way out of it. You're, you are totally controlled by somebody else. You've given all of your power away to somebody else. You have no power. But Spirit's teaching you how to access this power 
while you're in hanging man that's why you're stuck where you're at so you can learn i have the strength within me to do what i need to do i don't have to depend on somebody else i don't have to prove myself to anybody secretly you want to prove yourself or you want to make somebody else prove their self or somebody wants to make you prove yourself and you're like i don't owe you an explanation i'm a grown person all right, what would you say out of this deck, Spirit? That you have a past life love. This could be somebody that you just had, like, this card can actually be about a past life love, or it can be about somebody you dated in the past and children, okay? All right, what about this? This is a marriage. So you have a marriage from the past and children. All right, why are you telling us this? Because this is why you're vulnerable. Remember I said you had vulnerability showing up? What do they need to do instead? You need to be patient. What else? Your longing. So you might have a past life love that you want to marry and have children with. And it makes you feel like you need to open up, talk to somebody. Because you're, you're trying to be patient and you're longing. What's going to happen next? You're going to have an obsession. Oh, this sounds hard. And your finances are a factor. So you want, you're longing and even obsessed. Like, that's why you're about to hit your breaking point. But you're, you're going to have to be patient because of your finances. Anything else we need to know here about this situation? That you also have a, a passion. Try something you've never done before. Put away the computer and put your... Put your hands to work creating. And what else? You'll have to have stability. This relationship that you want can stand the test of time. All right, what is stable? There's been a spiritual lesson. Somebody's teaching you a spiritual lesson and it's fate. How's this going to end, Spirit? What's going to be the outcome here? It's a soulmate. It's a soulmate that you've been playing around with. So you're longing for somebody else, even obsessed, but you have to be with this soulmate right now. You can't get out. What if they could get out? You can. Spirit says you can and you will because this is protected. And you have to just have acceptance, put away the computer. You know you have a new love and that there needs to be forgiveness and healings and boundaries during this time of call. That's hard. You're away from somebody you love. And it looks like it's a friend of yours <clears throat> or maybe more than one friend. And you can't get to them because of what's going on here. Just in case, let's see where you are here. Where's the collective at here? by their self guided came out in reverse all right where's their person oh that flew out their person is ascending getting over this moving on and refocusing what's connecting these two you're watching this person you're doing you're healing and your, your inner child is healing your tribe is here and you're watching somebody. That's what's connecting you, is that you're both in the same tribe or family. You're working on healing your inner child. This could be somebody in your family, and you're very much being admired. What else is connecting them? A lot of memories. Remember I said you had a lot of memories? This is Divine Masculine, and he wants to communicate something. But he's wearing a mask. Has a lot of tattoos. He may have very short hair also. See what I'm seeing? Somebody either wants to talk to a Divine Masculine or Divine Masculine wants to talk to somebody. Let's see what he would say. <clears throat> What's the tr hidden truth about what this Divine Masculine wants to talk about or what you want to talk about to him? What does the collective say here? What would the collective say? I daydream about a life with you and I need security. What would the other person say to them? Oh, they have a lot to say to you. 
I miss being with you. I need, I mean, oh, they feel the sexual tension. You have a lot of sexual tension between the two of you. I miss you. I saved your text, and I don't know why this happened. I don't know why this happened, and I can't reach out to you. Wow. I have trouble with intimacy. So this person has a hard time talking to whoever this is they're in love with, this new love. And they're comfortable with this other person that they've been with for a while. There's healing coming, though. I feel so drawn to you. This person wants to be with somebody they can't be with right now. And there's not a whole lot I can do about, you know, pulling cards on it to see what the outcome might be. I can try though, let's see. What do I need to pull? Let's pull oracles. Can you give us some information about what the outcome might be here? You're gonna be inspired by your spirit guide. What, to do what? To forgive somebody. <clears throat> Alright, and then what might happen? Whoa. You're gonna you're going through a period of grieving, but you're protected. You're getting clarity on a new beginning. Whatever's happened to you is giving you clarity on what you want to do next. And the fool is here. It's just in reverse. So you are about to start something new, a new chapter in your life. But right now, you're stuck because you're, ha you're having to put things on hold for a few. What's going to what's gonna unstick this person's spirit? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right, it all came out in reverse because it hasn't happened yet. Oh, wow, 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 wow. All right. You're going to take a risk. There's going to be a wheel. It's going to lead you to a celebration when it comes to justice and something that you desire very, very much. The Fool, the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Cups, Justice, and the Devil. So I have Aries, I have Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and why can't I ever remember, oh wait, here they are, Leo, Taurus, <laughs> there you are, Taurus, then I have the Three of Cups, which is water, I'm not sure which water it is, let's see if it shows, hmm. it could be all three water signs, and then I have Libra here, Justice, and Capricorn, the Devil, with judgment judgment you're going to realize that you have to bring less judgment of yourself and others and choose a path that aligns with your talents you're going to take a risk you might have a cute little dog <laughs> you're going to have new love or deepening of a relationship a new job you're going to spend your money wisely you're going to enjoy an improvement in your relationships and what's in motion brings success. So whatever you're going to set in motion by making this move, you're going to have to take a risk and make a move. And when you do, whatever that sets in motion is what's going to be the outcome. It's leading you to abundance and a celebration, socializing with friends and your, your tribe and making money maybe with these people. And you're going to seek balance and be fair. You're going to be fair and fair in your finances. And there's going to be a settlement that is reached. And there's obsession, possibly, possibly a harmful situation. You're attached to social and material status. So be careful of that. But I read this card as you just desiring so badly to see justice. To see this being made right. I don't, I, that, that's what's going to bring you out. And do you see that we have one, two, three, four major arcanas and one 
minor arcana. So it's going to take spirit to bring you out of this. And it's going to begin with you taking a risk that's going to lead you to a wheel. When you, when you take this step, that wheel is going to start turning. So be careful how you take this next step. Oh, this is getting to be long. Clarify the step that they need to take. What step do they need to take, Spirit? You need to be happy. Judgment came out upright with happiness. But right now you have a lack of strength. You need to be strengthened. You need your power. You need to step into your power. It's going to, this is going to, this next step is going to lead you to happiness. Two more major arcanas. Spirit is working in major, major ways in this collective. All right, I'm going to pull money because I see that somebody got a powerful destiny here. That they're, 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 you're trapped right now. I'll give it to you. Somebody's gossiping and you're going to You're taking your time. <laughs> but you're at a crossroads and you've been going real slow. Divine Master wants to speak and it will be spoken to. And we saw that they need security. They're, you're at a crossroads about timing. You're like, is this the right time for me to, make this move to be this school? Baby, if you don't make this move, you're going to miss out on some amazing, amazing accomplishments in your life. And you're needing to step out of your comfort zone. So this is going to be an uncomfortable move. This fool has so much trust. They're like a little kid that knows that their mama or their daddy is going to catch them if they try to fly and they fall that their mama's going to catch them and be like no baby keep on going this way try again try again strengthen them wings you can do this all right spirit what's happening in our money when it comes to this collection somebody's being inspired you're coming up with a strategy and somebody is motivating an entertainer or maybe you're being motivated to be an entertainer a singer a songwriter a musician you're gonna have luck and stop settling clarify anything else you want to say about money I'm reading these upright somebody's doing some spell work when it comes to growth and social media clarify the outcome of spell work the media is here with comfort, so you're gonna have you're gonna be comfortable with with this media. All right, anybody else that needs to know about money? All right, somebody is needing a job. I think. Oh, your job! You're the you're the leader, the boss. You're gonna be the leader or the boss if you're not already. You might be a mechanic. You might need a mechanic. So you can start something new. Be cautious. Okay, I've got laborer, leadership, mechanic, beginning, and caution. Why is caution here? It's like it's cautioning you about it. Because of somebody beautiful? Because of beauty. What do you mean beauty? It has to do with change in something legal. What should they do with this outcome? Whoa. Alright, somebody's a counselor. Money comes to a halt. Be persistent. Growing up, and you're going to be a student. There's a counselor. Your money came to a halt. Be persistent. You're growing up, and you're going to be a student. Why did money come to a halt? You might be seeing because you're supposed to. You're not teaching. You're not teaching. Clarify what you mean by not teaching. Damn, that's a lot of cards. All right. Something's undecided when it comes to your transportation. You have to take a risk. You've had a loss. And there's something you can't see about some kind of designer. Clarify what's unseen. 
that there's gossip about angelic help and an investment. And it's it's um it's it's affecting it could affect your stability. Let's see what they're saying. Just to, what they're saying don't mean shit to me, but what spirit's saying does. All right, spirit, what is what is being gossiped about? Talk to me about this gossip. Somebody's sick. Somebody's sick right now, or they've been through some kind of illness, they're involved in an illness. All right, why are you telling me this? Because somebody went on a movie date and they announced, or they got recorded, and there's somebody coming in after you. Somebody's gonna go on a movie date and they are going to reveal that they want somebody else. Use sexual protection. If somebody's busy, they're a hater, and it's time for family, family time. What's the truth, Spirit, about this situation? That it's a private relationship, and somebody doesn't want to hear it because they're fulfilling their fantasy. Somebody's trash, somebody's a hater, and this is your family you want to spend time with. Somebody's very busy. Too busy for this nonsense. So, don't worry about what you can't see. It's gossip. You have protection here. Everything, you know what was said. I'm not going to repeat myself, but I am going to close here. Because I think that we've said all we can say. Can we, may we have some advice? One card, please, that would go perfectly with this reading and help us. Just one. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. All right, let me tell you what we got here. <clears throat> 40. Gaia. It's the right time or soon will be for things to come together for you. If there's something that you really believe in but have been waiting a long time to bring to life or to see su succeed, here's good news that something is beginning to stir. And at the right time, Things are going to fall into place. There's a bigger question of, doing, of divine timing about these matters, and it is not that you are or are not doing something right. Don't give up, but do give in to the wise timing of the Earth Mother, who knows how to grow all souls, all things, into perfect fullness of divine expression. Spiritual guidance. Something new is being hatched. You may wonder if you are imagining it, if the idea is standing and beauty, if the idea of start, startling and beautiful change is just a foolish fantasy, Gaia comes to tell you that this newness is real. New life is forming, and when the time is right, it is going to spring forth as something amazing. What is needed is some patience, care, and willingness to trust in what is happening within your own soul. Most of the time, people don't think much about their soul, let alone use their inner senses to feel for what their soul is expressing. When we do take time to go within, to inquire after our own soul experience, a beautiful inner relationship develops, and we start to feel the life of the soul as a very real and genuine experience. We begin to experience more joy, faith, patience, and trust. We start to share a special secret inner knowing with our soul about beautiful happenings that are going to take place. We feel a quiet inner confidence and a sense of knowing that is going on in our lives at a deeper level. This is comforting and helpful. Now is the right time to take time for your soul 
to care for yourself just like you would a fragile egg with precious new life growing inside. Enjoy your growing and connection as you trust in what is about to hatch. Sacred ritual. Imagine that you have a precious invisible egg which holds a precious new life within it. The egg exists deep in your soul. Speak to it in a soft, loving, and cooling tone and tell this egg how much you love it, how grateful you are that it is going to come to life. And then imagine that egg growing in soft, golden tones as it receives your loving tones. And I did this the other day. For some reason, it just came to mind and I decided to, to try it. And I'm waiting to see the results of that now. All right, that was just a few days ago. Priority of purpose. You are a dreamer, but you are also meant to be a doer. It's time to cast off some of the demands of your time and attention that are keeping you from pursuing your true purpose. If you have many dreams, that's fine, but it's wise to focus on what you can do now. Allow your other dreams to percolate in the background for a while. When it's time to attend to them, you'll know. For now, do what you can and don't be afraid to make a sacrifice or two along the way. Those sacrifices will be repaid in more ways than you currently know. You won't lose anything by dropping the distractions and going for it. Spiritual guidance. Making a choice can be hard, as if to say yes to one thing, you have to say no to 15 other things. Remember that saying no is just saying no right not, not right now, rather than never. There is a higher plan for your life that includes all of your passions. You can do it all, but just not all at once. Your soul knows how to build your most inspired and beautiful divine life as though it were building an extraordinary example. I'm sorry, why did I say example? Temple for your spirit. Somebody's going to be watching you build this and you're going to be an example to them. It knows that the foundation needs to be prepared and the walls built before the windows are done and skylights can be installed. The roof may be absolutely one of a kind incredible, but if you try to lay the roof before you build the walls, you are going to have some problems. There is a certain order of how things need to happen, which is, which the soul intuitively knows. That is why listening to the soul and trusting your inner guiding voice makes more sense than trying to accomplish everything straight away and ending up with so much less than you deserve for all your effort. Every moment of patience and sacrifice that you make now is stored up by the universe. So while you're in this hangman mode, you're having to make a sacrifice. And everything is being stored up by the universe. Everything that you're being patient about and sacrificing is being stored up by the universe as a sweet grace that you will receive back later as everything falls into place perfectly. Tr tr tune in and trust your soul to show you how to gain everything you ever dreamed of one simple step at a time. Sacred Ritual. Whilst uh, write a list entitled, This is what matters most to my heart and soul. Read your list aloud and then say, I trust my soul is blessed and will show, show me how to create my most beautiful destiny one step at a time. <coughs> All right. I think that's where we're going to end it. Somebody's going to have angelic help with an investment that and it's got to do with something they're designing. For some reason, you have had a loss, and I'm, I'm so sorry for your loss. If there's anything I could do for you, please reach out to me. All right. That's where we're going to end up. I'm going to roll the dice to see who what comes out of the dice today. I don't usually have been doing that so much. C-T-X-I-A-B-Y number nine K <laughs> X I 
think. No, V, V. We have V, N, B, Y, Q, A, C, 12. T, Q, R, M, W, V, G. No, C. That's a C. Number four. I'm going to go one more time and I'm going to pull trinkets and we're going to get out of here. H C F L M A J 5. All right, then we're going to stop there with the dice. We're going to pull a trinket or two out of this bowl of trinkets so that would go perfectly with this reading. So, this has been a very different reading. All right, you got the lucky rock, so you're going to have some luck. Not very many trinkets this time. I got an owl. You're going to have wisdom about how to move forward. You have a cowboy boot inside of a horseshoe. You're going to have a lot of luck. And then we have a heart, a very beautiful heart. Somebody has a beautiful heart. All right, Spirit, what would you say to me out of this other card? Anything you want to say? What would you say? All right, I have a key. If you need a key to something, Spirit says, I have a key. I have a piece of turquoise, and it's a broken ring. Maybe your ring has been broken. The circle is being broken. I have a wing, an angel wing. Live life in love, a lotus flower. I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. Crescent moon with a fairy and a ball. Oh, and a feather. You might be finding feathers. All right, Collective, thank you for sticking with me and for showing me so much love. Let's see what your best friend would say to you before we actually... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a rocking horse for a baby and a light bulb for that inspiration. Somebody's going to have a baby. Or you might already have one. Babies are so cute. All right. One day, I hope to be a grandmother and have be able to spend time with babies. Say thank you to your body and remember who you are. Perfect, isn't that perfect? Say thank you to your body and remember who you are. All right, Spirit says, close now. I love you guys and I hope you have a beautiful Tuesday. Bye-bye.